going to have a little sneak peek. Don't tell anyone. Wandelen. 
Ah, il est fini. Aïe, le petit petit. Aïe, schatje. Ga je mee naar huis? Kom maar. Welcome to another day in our little village in Holland. Now lots of people think that Holland is just another name for the Netherlands. But it is not. Because Holland is actually just a region in the Netherlands made up out of two of our 12 provinces. North Holland and Zuid Holland. So saying I live in Holland <laughs> is only true if you live in one of those two provinces. Otherwise, you just have to say the Netherlands. One of my favorite houses in this village has something that I really like and I've liked it from the first time I saw it and it is a beautiful red front door. And I don't know why, but it just makes me want one too. <laughs> I've tried to convince Rogier to paint our front door in this color and when he refused I even tried to paint the inside of the front door in this color <laughs> which he didn't like either so after that I gave up until now because because this morning all of a sudden I thought but wait a minute the door in this little entryway is actually going to be my new front door and today I'm going to make my little dream come true. It's because you know, little dreams are very important too. Oh, 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 I'm going to light something on fire. Badly painted door. So just doing a little sanding and painting over all of this is not going to make it look great. So now I'm thinking, do I want to remove this too? Shit! It looks very beautiful. Which is concerning because <laughs> looking at this makes me question painting this door red. <laughs> Do you know that I sometimes worry about running out of YouTube content? <laughs> but when I'm doing something like this, I'm realizing that I never have to be worried because I always create so much work for myself. For the first two years after I moved into my house in Amsterdam, people kept asking me questions like, how is your house doing? <laughs> how are the jobs going? Is it finished already? When are you planning to finish it? Why is it taking so long? <laughs> it's nice that people just accept me for what I am and this is it. <laughs> this is it. It would drive me insane, completely and utterly insane <laughs> to live in a house with no jobs to do. Oh, shit. Okay. My burner sometimes just gives up on me. Well... <laughs> this always happens to me. Yes, this yeah. is 
Ay, 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 ay. I am so tired and so cold. And it is not from doing the things in here, but from a project that we did last weekend. <sighs> I told you about my plans to take the ceiling out. Well, we made a start <laughs> with taking all of the things down from the attic. And it was completely and utterly absurd, the amount of stuff and how dirty everything was and how heavy everything was. And it took me and my son and Rogier an entire day just to take everything down. So now that this attic is completely cleared and empty, we can proceed to step number two, which is also going to be absurdly insane. <laughs> And the plan is to do this tomorrow, but if I'm going to do all kinds of things in here today, I'm not going to be able to do anything tomorrow. So I need to make some tough decisions, I need to apply some tough love, and I need to settle into the idea that this, what I did this week, is just going to be good enough. And I'm having a hard time with it, because it feels like I am not making any progress. Or at least not a whole lot. But that's me, you know. And remember what I said in my last video about letting go of deadlines. And about never feeling good enough. Because I always feel like I need to perform better. And I need to do more. Well, this is it. <laughs> this is one of those moments of me struggling <laughs> with all of these things. So I'm going to try to let go of it. And the water heater is also making a great deal of noise. <sighs> Every single year, somewhere in between Christmas and New Year, usually in the coldest week of the year, this water heater breaks down. And then Rogier would go in here and he would disappear for days on end. <laughs> Just to fix this thing. Personally, I'm completely over this thing. Completely over it. But Rogier just can't seem to give up on this specific water heater. So here we are with this crazy water heater. It's making a lot of noise. It has all kinds of issues. A lot of cold showers. And a lot of disturbing noises. Anyway, so let's take these boxes. Where are my boxes? Ah, this lamp, you guys. I thought it was a tiny lamp. I don't know how I bought this for 15 euros, but I did. Found one more. <laughs> There's still one missing. And it is not in here. So where is it? Now I do think that we need to clean up a bit. It's just one of those weeks. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm talking about one of those weeks of me creating a whole bunch of mess for a whole bunch of nothing. Oh, yes. One of those ones. <laughs> like every week. Oh, that's a very name. This is not every week. I'm usually very productive. <laughs> okay. myself that the attic being completely cleared is actually a major jump forwards and we are making progress you just don't see the progress yet so one of my subscribers asked how are you planning to get rid of the bump in the middle of your workspace well I guess you are going to get the answer to your question right now je gaat het wel mooi en plat maken hè ik hoop het I don't want a dent in the floor. <laughs> I missed the <laughs> moment supreme. So now we are going to pretend like that never happened. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is uh, social media, you guys. <laughs> Where things go wrong. 
you just do it all over again. So now Rogier is going to pretend that it's still stuck. <laughs> oh. Okay, so this is editing Eva popping in just to tell you guys that after I finished cleaning everything I tried to film the unboxing of all of the things that I bought on Marketplace and just now I tried to edit all of this footage and I just can't do it <laughs> I can't do it you guys because it is so badly filmed because I was just simply feeling too tired. It was just the chaos of me tripping over words and just watching it made me feel so nervous <laughs> that I decided to just draw the line. I don't want to upload footage like this because I think that these things deserve better. So in the end I decided to make the difficult decision to film all of these things again <laughs> on a day when I'm a little bit more rested. So this is probably going to be Monday or Tuesday. Anyway, the plan right now is to upload this video on Wednesday as a little bonus video for you guys. It's fun, right? An extra video in the middle of the week. So now I am here finishing up the last little things because this video will be online tonight and then hopefully I am going to feel okay enough to do all of the things tomorrow that we were planning to do. But more on the whole, taking out the ceiling project later. For now, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I really hope to see you on Wednesday for a warm cup of tea, a whole bunch of vintage and some oddities too. Because I'm expanding my curiosity collection. So stay tuned. <laughs> Bye.